Okay, they're all over your TV. You've seen them, we've seen them. Mm -hmm. Ads for all the primary races in Ohio, both Democrat and Republican. But if Ohio voters were to vote the way they are registered right now, more than three out of four would have no say in any of those races. Sounds a little strange, right? News 5's John Kosick explains why. In Ohio right now, votes are being cast in the contested Democratic and Republican primaries for both U.S. Senate and for governor. The problem is most Ohio voters aren't technically registered in a way to vote for either. They're registered nonpartisans or independents. So if you want to vote for, for one party's candidates, or the other, you got to make a choice. Ohio is a state where the red and blue divide is often talked about, so you might not think the number of nonpartisans would be that high, but it is. In Cuyahoga County, for example, 7 out of 10 voters are nonpartisan. And statewide, the number is even higher, according to the Secretary of State's office, try 77 percent. If you vote as a nonpartisan in this primary, you'll get what's called an issues-only ballot. If you pick an issues-only ballot, you're not going to see candidates for governor, for U.S. Senate, for Congress. It's just going to be tax levies and that kind of thing. The problem with that, for example, in Cuyahoga County? Cuyahoga County does not have a county-wide issue on the ballot this time. So because of that, most jurisdictions... Uh, will only have a Democrat or Republican ballot available for them. The good news is in Ohio, our primaries are partially open. That means if you are a nonpartisan and want to vote in one of the primaries, there's no paperwork to fill out. You just simply request the ballot you want. So they can choose a Democratic or Republican ballot, regardless of what their party currently is or if they are unaffiliated. It also means a Republican can opt to vote in the Democratic primary or vice versa, something LaRose said he's familiar with. I'll give you an example. My mom is a Democrat, but I think that she's going to request a Republican ballot so she can vote for me. And that's something I'm, I'm proud of, uh, of her doing. Just know if you do that, you will now be listed as a member of the party in whose primary you voted. John Kasich, News 5.